my dear viewers welcome to this reading this reading is for all cancerians and it's for march onwards 2024 it's all about your life your general life my dear cancer everything that you're going through now everything that you're needing to know what's happening what's coming uh, maybe answers to your questions and everything um, in between i welcome you all each and every one of you thank you all for being here let us begin let's start with taking some cards from the tea leaves okay so i see one and two this one my eye was on three and four okay let's see what are the messages for you my dear cancer starting with I should have started with something else actually it doesn't matter we've got the crown now the crown is about ranking you will be ranked to higher levels glasses on honor and respect will come to you you will be honored you will be respected and you are going to be ranking transcending where you are in high levels marriage wow marriage you are going to be made the one and you are connecting with someone to the point of marriage it says here september something great i think marriage could be september marriage and september my dear i'm going to hold it up marriage and september wow that's amazing so we've got September and we've got crown and then finally we've got the wreath. The wreath isn't a very nice one. A wreath means sorrow or loss of someone. So, um, but you've got the crown and you've got the marriage in September. Something big happening in September. Now, my dear viewers, I'm going to do now the most important factor. Let's go through the messages. First one, Paul Cancerians. That's just too many. I'm just going to take one for March. And there it is okay we have on target so if you're wondering and pondering uh, where you're at in regard to your life you are on target you are following your ideal life path without any questions without doubt and it's going to be a very successful one especially with a new beginning that's coming it's going to be very inspiring let's say the sacred forest for all cancerians for march onwards and we have protected you are highly protected and taken care of and very much nurtured so you need to know that someone wonderful is coming a new beginning it could be a new partnership that's going to be spectacular one more message from this deck here for all cancer and we have rise above problems so you're rising above all problems or many problems or one particular problem you're rising above problems which is beautiful I put this one a bit here. Okay. So your protection and rise above problems. Now let's have a look at important factors that you need to know. Two messages for all cancer. We have the emperor. Wow. This is power and control. Finally having the power and control over your life to do as you please, to rule and reign as you please. Uh, the emperor is about control, power, and if you have lost power in your life, now you've got it. And it is also about an offer that you can't refuse, something wonderful, perhaps a leadership position, a managerial position. That's all possible. Actually, I'll put this one here. The next one, we have the Knight of Wands. You're taking action where you were not able to. Now you are, and very quickly you're able to take action and move forward and get things done. Some of you could be traveling also. It could be a sudden uh, situation where you need to travel. Now I'm going to go through another deck, take about four messages, and they just turned over. One, two, three. And I need one more. And that's the finale. Okay, wonderful. So what have we got here? We have, first and foremost, is celebrations. Celebrations for a job well done because you're working hard and you are going to be recognized. Your hard work is going to be recognized and rewarded. So we've got um, that. And then we've got a new beginning that's going to start Ignite and it might give you the greatest love of all. It might give you an amazing new start. Justice is going to prevail and give you all that you deserve. A lot of fair and just justice is going to take care of situations for you where there was no justice before now there will be justice and all in your favor that is amazing okay yep that's it all right great now i'm going to take three more and then i'll clarify after getting some more information i'll clarify the cards let's have a look three more messages for all cancer and we have the wheel of destiny the wheel of fortune extreme luck 
extraordinary luck coming and bringing you abundance. The wheel of destiny also means that destiny will control situations to take you to the next level because there is the next level. You're elevating to high level. Some of you could be marriage that you might be celebrating, meeting the one perhaps, destiny coming in. It could be that. And others could be um, something big happening in September. Somebody born also, I didn't say somebody born either Libra or uh, Virgo. We'll find out at the end. I'll do the, um, and the crown, elevated to crown. I'll be doing, I'll just go slow. <laughs> I'm trying to get too many things in. At the end of the reading, I'm going to go and through the star signs, all the star signs and find out uh, what are the star sign combination of the person that you'll be involved with, meeting, consumed in, in March. So the Wheel of Destiny uh, could be elevating you to higher ranks in life, giving you abundance, giving you a windfall. Everything is possible. Everything. And it could be also taking you to the level of a new beginning where you'll be able to start something new, ignite a new business, start something that's going to bring you abundance and sprout and bloom and become spectacular. That could be also. And then you've got, of course, uh, um, everything else the wreath i'm not talking about it because it's about a loss so even the loss uh, the death of someone perhaps the passing of someone the sorrow could be part of destiny it could be that it's something that's destined and it has to take place now so that's that one. Oh, yeah there's more i forgot there's three okay the three of swords it looks like separation betrayal separation disappointment but certainly the painful truth an end to a matter maybe um this is going to be a, a, an ending and then the new beginning brings you a lot of happiness finally we have judgment so there is a rebirth for you an ending of a chapter and a rebirth so we've got the wheel of fortune and we've got judgment two major arcana showing that despite of the loss you are going to be celebrating so whoever you're losing believe me whoever you're losing you are celebrating because you're meeting someone else or you're losing them because of something destined for you. So judgment and the will of fortune. So no matter what separation there is, it is going to be to your advantage because you are destined for a new beginning. And most of all, you are also destined for marriage. And that's very important. You are destined for marriage. So whatever is ending, it's ending because you are destined for something much better. That's very important to know. So an ending can be the beginning of meeting the one that you are destined to be with. That's what destiny is all about. Okay. So now we've, we we know what's going on. we got destiny here. we got rebirth here. Compensation, a new life. And what you don't see coming is wealth. A lot of money. Ten of wealth. Ten of coins. Ten of pentacles. So you are rising beyond any problems. If you have financial problems, the Ten of Wolf will get you there. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wolf, and Celebration. So you can see the Wheel of Extreme Luck and Destiny. The Wheel of Fortune bringing on luck, abundance of wealth, money coming in, and celebrating something magnificent. This could be in the new beginning happening. So very important what we're seeing here. This is what you don't see coming. It's a bit later on. Okay, let's have a look at what else you need to know. I'm going to just put this one over here. Two more messages for all cancer. Oh, they came together. Beautiful. All right, so we have the wings and the, and the rose. The golden wings are all about rising above money matters, issues. So you're resolving. Your money issues are getting resolved. Business could be taking off. Some of you could be starting a business. Profits are there without a doubt spiritual work spiritual intervention in your life um knowing your life's purpose where you're at where you're heading all that thinking of taking on perhaps something new a new mission um starting a new chapter and a chapter ends life's mission what you have to do why you're here all that is coming to um to take preference now over everything that you're at where you're doing the rose is about financial relief it's about being contented Content means more than happy, absolute contentment, loving care from your guardian angels. You're protected. You're on target. Remember, they said you're on target. You're on target. That's what the wings are all about. You're on target and you are very much protected. So much so 
to the point where you will be celebrating this protection. So on target, without a doubt, protected to the highest level and degree. And you are destined for someone wonderful, someone incredible. On target, and some of you are, even in the midst of separating with someone, right? Even if you are in the midst of separating, the fact remains that even if there's separation, you are destined for someone wonderful coming into your life. So that's very, very intriguing. Intriguing indeed. So you are on target. That goes without saying. Destiny is intervening to take you to the next level. And the rose is also about supporting, being supported big time. Just like you are protected here, support is there also. Some of you could be working in security jobs. Some of you growing, uh, landscaping, outdoor uh, matters but growth is coming in your life big time and some of you would be probably working on supporting roles helping others supporting others being there for others and some of you could have people depending on you and you might be just working so much to the point where you're finding it a bit too exhilarating but you're still doing it and knowing that you're protected is going to help you big time let's have a look at two more messages for all cancer we've got one Now we've got two. Okay, so we've got life is going to be speeding. Things are going to be moving very fast, especially in partnerships. That's number one. And the second one, the giraffe, is all about seeing the bigger picture. You're finally going to go through some sort of awakening that is going to help you understand and see the bigger picture of where you're at and where you're heading, especially in partnerships. That will help you overcome one major obstacle, without a doubt. Let's see what else there is for you to know. Might be cancer. Okay, so it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It's worth working on. Working on partnership. There's loving care here, so it's going to be doing well. And it says, free yourself for others. Free yourself from something that's not working well. Make time. Uh, it says, it's time to take back control of your life. So if you don't have control, this is a time where you are going to be uh, taking control over your life. So that's wonderful. And let's see what other message, last message from here for all Cancerians. There it is. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way, especially those of you who are feeling sad, uh, unhappy. Obviously, it is when you are about to separate from someone. Separation does that. But remember, you are nurtured. You are cared for, and I feel like the wings, the golden wings, are going to be uplifting you to high levels where you'll be able to combat this, and they are going to bring on someone wonderful in your life. Maybe your soulmate to heal you completely and utterly from separation, or maybe they're going to bring you wealth to give you um, happiness if you have lost a job or leaving a situation or a business or something that's not working. Wealth is coming maybe to help you, uplift you to go to the next level. Whatever it is, you are rising beyond. So um, no matter what's happening, you are going to be rising beyond um, any kind of problems and obstacles. So that is going to be spectacular. No matter what happens, even if you are separating from someone that you really loved or cared for, you need to know, learn from the experience and see what is happening and why it's happening. But you are protected and you are on target. So being on target tells me that even if you're separate from someone, you're still doing the right thing. You're still moving forward. And I feel like you are going to be um, starting a new chapter. Someone wonderful might be coming into your life. That's why you got marriage. That's why we have marriage. Separation and then marriage. Do you see that? Some of you could be separating from your work. Painful words, unhappiness, whatever it is, destiny is going to be intervening. And destiny is going to give you um, a lot to think about. The main thing is for you to know is that you are protected big time. Absolutely protected. Okay, so now we move on to the next level. Clarifying the cards, starting with, let's have a look at destiny. Let's see what destiny is going to do for all Cancerians what's coming okay so it's giving you someone that will uplift you and help you um, but also there is inspiration 
that is going to guide you when there is conflict there is conflict there are problems sometimes these problems are a sign for you to know that you need to look at things on a deeper level and let destiny take its um, place because it will remove this for you and and heal you and make you understand why these things are happening there is conflict and there could be this dealing with someone of water energy the truth of the matter is that you are destined to make a very important decision and perhaps you're not making it because it's very harsh decision maybe you have to leave and you're finding it difficult to leave or to face up you've been in denial maybe finally there is a leaving there is a uh, the chariot there is somebody leaving there is um starting fresh moving that's why you've got the um the knight of wands you're taking action and moving you're overcoming obstacles and you are going to have a victory without a doubt there's a great victory for you so that's destiny now we move on to the three of swords and see what is this collapse all about this uh, truthful painful truth let's see what is it all about and it shows um what energy could be also yourself or somebody like you uh, with the page of cups somebody water energy is inspiring you helping you move forward okay uh the 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 three of uh, swords the painful truth could be in connection to someone that has earth energy in them or could be because you're 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 leaving a situation and you might be uh, somebody is going to be very supportive earth energy virgo taurus capricorn this is very important this is someone very loving very loving energy very supportive and it is they're coming at a time where you're feeling defeated and every action is not working every attempt is failing the truth is uh, putting an end maybe to a situation a situation is destined to end and you're leaving the past behind you no matter how painful it is you're leaving the past behind you and moving forward let's have a look at the emperor let's see what the emperor is all about my dear viewers, as I was saying, let's see the Emperor, Fall Cancerians, and the Emperor is about having control over your life. There could be an offer being made to you where you're thinking about it. There could be travel, distance uh, in regard to this offer, but you are having power and control over your life. Someone very caring like yourself, water energy is there, supporting you, maybe to move to a better place, considering movement. You might be indecisive, you're not sure, but finally you are moving. My dear Ken, so I feel like there is a relocation for you with a little bit of time and it is to do with partnerships. There's a lot of rewards coming your way big time and it's to do with partnerships. Maybe because of due to partnership, you are going to be moving to a better place, perhaps. Because of the lover's card, you might be relocating or relocating together. There is now time that you are going to be taking action because there's a lot of loving care maybe between you and someone and that is helping you to really take action. So prepare for some sort of a new beginning, a wonderful beginning that you haven't made a decision yet, but you are thinking, contemplating. And maybe something might trigger for you to actually get there. The empowerment is going to be very, very strong. What's going to be offered to you might be so great that you might be considering leaving. This can also, the emperor can be a great offer. An offer that uplifts you, ranks you up to high levels. Don't forget you got the crown and the emperor. Now, what does that mean? This shows to me that you are going to be honored and respected. And maybe have you will take a position where you will rise beyond where you are today. And that's what this is, rise beyond money. You'll have respect and you'll have more. Uh, to go through and um, deal with with the emperor a lot of empowerment that is also possible so now uh, we see what the um the th what what are you celebrating what is the celebration all about my dear cancer celebration end of a chapter you're dealing with an ending and ranking up to high levels a lot of victories leaving perhaps something behind maybe leaving a situation behind there may be um leaving someone in the cold maybe feeling guilty in a way money maybe issues but leaving a situation behind that wasn't working and being seeing clarity that you can take action now overcoming a problem and ending it putting an end that is going to be the reason perhaps you're celebrating celebrating leaving a situation that wasn't working behind let's have a look at now the knight of wands for all cancerians Maybe leaving a relationship behind that wasn't working. Finally, you'll be happy that it's over. 
And there it is. You're taking action because something's collapsing. Something that has no foundations, it can't grow, can't move anywhere. And that's why you're leaving. You're leaving because destiny is going to help you leave. You are destined for a new beginning. That's why we have new beginning here. You're fo everything's falling apart because you're destined for a new beginning. In some cases, it could be a new job, right? An offer of a job that you'll be thinking of moving towards. And for other reasons, it could be that you might be leaving a lover because it's not working and hasn't worked for some time. And finally, because you're destined to get married. There's a new beginning, a new love, a new beginning. So that could be part of it. But you are certainly leaving and taking action without a doubt. You are taking action. That's what the Knight of Wands is, taking action. Now, let's move on to the next one. And I want to know about this uh, justice. Let's see justice for all cancer. Justice is overcoming something that was controlling, painful, that you were obsessed with. You were, um, what's the word? codependent on that's finishing something that you wanted to heal from you are going to be healed and that's what ju judgment is that's why judgment has doubled up justice is going to be giving you the release from this addiction no matter what it was whether it was a person whether it was a situation you are having your justice and finally having a new beginning that gives you a lot of happiness a lot of rewards are destined for you elevation in your work a new relationship marriage happiness and a new lease of life that will compensate you for all the losses that you have endured all this time. So, great victories await for you, mighty cancer. Great victories are coming. So, prepare for that. Now, that's um, judgment. That's what we're talking about. So, overcoming any kind of a problem. Now, finally, I'm going to do... This card fell also, so it shows to me you're taking a stand and setting boundaries and you have finally have the power to leave something you have been given the power the strength let's have a look at the ace of wands and the ace of wands shows there it is a new beginning again we have the emperor as you can see the emperor twice at a time where you're feeling unhappy unloved emotionally distressed comes the emperor an offer from the universe that you can't imagine a new beginning that gives you abundance and happiness a new love maybe that will lead to marriage and an offer you can't refuse. If it's work you're related, then you're going to be ranking up to high levels um, and being given authority and leadership position. Certainly there is going to be something that's going to be sprouting and moving forward and igniting and giving you a lot of passion and a lot to be excited about. You are going to, this is a big turnaround from sadness and distress to absolute excitement and abundance. So uh, prepare for that. And the sun will be shining in your path big time. I do feel like there could be an air energy coming into your life or an earth one. So we'll find out air and earth. Now, I'm going to go through and have a look at the star sign combination of the person you might be meeting or consumed with, overwhelmed with in Mar March. And I'm going to do five, five cards. So first and foremost, we have Sagittarius, fire energy. Then we got Pisces, water energy, Pisces. Let's see what else. For all Cancerians in March, okay, we have Pluto, Scorpio, what else, water energy, okay, so we need two more, and this is coming in my hand, we got Aquarius, that's the air energy we're talking about, consumed with, and we've got the Capricorn, the earth energy that we're talking about, someone that works hard, okay, so we've got the hard worker here, Capricorn, We've got the air energy, which is, um, this is the air energy, someone that has air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but we've got Aquarius here, we've got Capricorn, so we've got Aquarius and Capricorn, Earth goes perfectly with you, water, is it water? Sorry, no, it's air, air doesn't go that perfect, as long as there's Earth in them, it could be someone Aquarius and Capricorn, that means you will go well with this person, Aquarius with, they could be a cuspy, Aquarius, um, Capricorn, and then you've got water energy, two water energy and fire. Sagittarius is fire, we've got Pisces and Scorpio. Water energy here, very strong. This could be someone like yourself that you're blended with, or you could be leaving somebody behind that might be uh, Scorpio or might be Pisces that you might be leaving behind. Moving towards fire, I see fire coming into your life. Fire, earth, and air. Somebody that has fire, Sagittarius, very strong. Or, um, and dealing with Sagittarius very strong. And then Capricorn, 
and um, Capricorn and uh, Aquarius. I feel like the Aquarius is very honest and straightforward and direct and you will love that. I feel like the Capricorn is going to be someone that you can, um, you know, stride and, and, and thrive with because it's earth and you are water. You will be expanding and building a life and, and probably going through marriage or even if it's a business, you'll do well. It's going to be spectacular. Um, I do feel like somebody could be passing in September. That's why September is probably here. But I also feel about September that this could be an air energy like um, Libra. Because uh, we've got air energy here. And air energy can be Aquarius for many, but they could be also Libra. Fire energy goes beautiful. It gives you warmth. Sagittarius, very nurturing like yourself, my dear Cancer. Very loving, very nurturing. And it's someone that will be very um, giving. Someone like yourself who is a giver. A lot of emotional and a lot of love and a lot of affection. Very much into hugging. Uh, Scorpio and Pisces. I feel like water energy goes well with you very well. But you might have been with someone that might have had air in them. And uh, the relationship might be coming to an end. Because they're too straightforward. You've reached a level where there's no more. Uh, where there may not be uh, too much growth. Maybe too many reasons. Maybe one of the reasons is that they don't want to pursue a life of marriage. And you do. It's because marriage has... It's impacting your marriage, your your reading on a grand scale. So maybe they don't want a big future, a long-term future. Uh, they might have issues from their past. They might already have had maybe family and children. You haven't. That's why this uh, situation is becoming to an end. So I feel like whoever's coming now, whether it's earth, uh, fire, you are going to be thriving. You are going to be given everything you need in order to move forward, whether they come as a business partner or as a lover. You are going to be dealing with these people on a high level in March, and I feel like you are going to blend well because you've got water, you've got fire, you've got air, and you've got earth, all the elements to take you to the next level. Can't wait to see your comment, my dear Cancer. I wish you abundance of blessings. Do give me a thumbs up. Please watch the video all the way to the end because they're becoming longer nowadays, and that support means a lot to me by watching the videos without stopping them all the way to the end or letting them run their course. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't and support me and thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. Your comments, I look forward to them. I wish you a lot of love and light and a lot of blessings. Namaste.